Welcome to Beer Disciples. I am Ross Quintana. I'm Robert Hubbard. That's right. Believe it or not, he is, even though you <laughs> may remember him with more hair. Yeah. And this is the Erdinger Hefeweizen Dark. So you might remember we reviewed the regular one, and I liked it quite a bit. And I felt like maybe it could have just a little bit more, so I'm excited to see what their dark version is. Yeah. There was no information on this particular beer on Rate Beer or Beer Advocate, so I can't give you the tale of the tape, so to speak. But uh, we got a lot of new things. First of all, it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. And, uh, and so we're starting off with this beer. It'll be one of many today. But we're also starting off with my new glasses. Ooh. And uh, I got these, and I don't know if it's pronounced Spiglau. Spiglau? I'm not sure. But they're supposed to be pretty good, so we will see. We got this Pilsner and Hefeweizen glass, so we'll try them both. So, anyway, uh, Brewer is Erdinger uh, Weissbrow. They're uh, the world's largest wheat brewery, so, um, and uh, they're based out of Erding, Germany. Uh, the ABV on this is 5.3. And it's made with Hallertau uh, hops, so uh, it's, uh, as far as I know, it's available year-round. And um, the original didn't do well on rate beer. It was a 61 overall, 82 for the style, out of 1,312 ratings. But you know, we had that uh, Keller Weiss, which is in the like top 10 ratings, and I thought eh, mm -hmm. that was garbage for me. So we'll see where this one uh, comes, but let's get this baby cracked open. I can't wait to try it in my new glasses. Oh, the smoking gun. Don't mind if I do myself first here. Before, it's your birthday after That's all. That's right. Just feels nice. So uh, let's try it out here and see what kind of pour we get. And it's big too, so... Oh, my good gumdrops. <laughs> Uh -oh. Uh oh. Look at this. Quintana knows how to time it. Look how slow this is moving down there. Yeah. I got one inch of beer and all head. Cause see, normally I'm used to in my glass, which is shorter, so you kind of have to pour it in the middle to get a little bit of a head on it. With this head inator, uh, I'll have to be extra careful to pour it uh, <laughs> tilted a little bit better. But uh, yeah. so far, so good. Why don't you give yourself a little bit. Uh, well, that's got a nice color on it already so far. So nice and cloudy. Look at this, huh? So go ahead and get her in yeah. there. Get her all the way. I want to see how this glass fills up. Okay, look at this guy. Cautious. Cautious Johnny over here doesn't want to get to the top of his glass. <laughs> Come on, Sally. Put it all in. <laughs> there we go. And we got some to grow on. By the way, I didn't let you get a peek at that label. Erdinger Dark Hefeweizen. So it says uh, is brewed all naturally using traditional bottle fermentation, never pasteurized. Uh, so actually, if it's bottle uh, fermented, we got the little sniblet of yeast in there, and I'm going to top myself off with that. Mm -hmm. Give it some more cloud. Whoop! Look at that. What is that? A milkshake? <laughs> Okay, so, uh, wow, I mean, now that you're getting a good look at that, man, that's a gorgeous looking beer. Yeah. For me, there's no question, I'm going to give it a five on appearance, a beautiful looking beer. Um, let's see if I can get any nose through the <laughs> eight inches of head here. <laughs> I'm going to need a shovel. I'm going to need some Argentinian uh, miners to go down in there. They may get trapped. Yeah. Mm, it smells like a fresh snowfall to me. Mm. Man, it looks so good. It looks like a root beer float head. I want to just... Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm getting a good balance. I'm getting a little bit more of that uh, kind of uh, Bavarian yeast smell on this one than I remember on the other one, I think. But yeah, I'm on. I'm, it's my the good stuff's trapped underneath this wall. So let's right. uh, let's get to drinking it, and then we'll come S back suck on the off smell. a little bit. Two problems with one with what you just said. 
Number two, I can't. I, I want to get foam here. And don't say that when I'm getting a mouthful of foam, okay? All right. <laughs> here we go. Let's try so and get some So many places food. you could go with that. Let me get some beer here. good yeah yeah it's a it's a little lighter than i remembered the other one being and i actually thought it was mm -hmm. going to be darker yeah like a little more body but i'm getting i'm getting a little bit more like i said of the yeast but it's very refreshing mm -hmm. but it seems like i just it seems like i remember the other one being a little bigger than this like i felt like I it, it needed was... to be even a little bigger but now i'm feeling like this one's just a, slightly behind that yeah it feels more refreshing than the other one had more <coughs> more weight to it it had more, it had more of a grainy presence and a little more of a breadiness. Mm -hmm. mm. This one tastes that almost, is good. almost tart. Yeah, I'm getting. That's a, I'm getting out of it. Yeah, I'm getting a little more residue on that, <clears throat> but I think this is pretty good overall for taste. I'm gonna go a uh, four on it. Still pretty solid work for me especially compared to some of the ones that I've had. It's absolutely beautiful in the glass. Um, mm. Let's see if I can muster yeah, a little more it. smell. Can't break through that wall. Um, this is good. Mouthfeel, I'm going to go about a 3.5 on it. I'd still like a little bit more of a malt presence and a little bit more too. breadiness. Mm -hmm. um, the other one felt malty, more malty than regular. I'm getting a little bready at the end now. Mm -hmm. I think I'm still going for more malt, though. I don't know. Yeah, it definitely so. needs more malt. This is great. If it's a hot day, you want a refreshing beer. I mean, this is pretty good work right here. Mm -hmm. and it's absolutely beautiful. Overall, I'm going to give this a B+. Plus. Um, I feel like uh, it's solid work. When you have something that looks that great, tastes great and refreshing, there's nothing really out of balance. I wanted more grain, mm -hmm. a little more malt body. Uh but but that's not bad on this beer it's just yeah i've had much worse yeah i've so. had i've had i've had a lot that to me aren't something i would pick up and drink i would pick this up and drink it again so so yeah overall i'm gonna say this is this is pretty solid i think the dark color is throwing us off a little bit because you see a dark color like that and you think it's going to be bigger you don't expect it to be so refreshing um but i do get little caramel notes at the back end and I'd say this is still pretty solid and a great summertime beer. I think it was only $3.99, so at that price, yeah. I would definitely pick it up. I'm also getting, my this head here is getting a little lower, so I can smell it a bit. Yeah, you it got a little more the, grainy. You can smell the caramel in there, too. Yeah. Yeah, after it got it broke through the head. So uh, you can check us out online. Uh, go to Beer Disciples, uh, no, not BeerDisciples.com. Facebook forward slash Beer Disciples and join our and like our page there. Join our conversation and uh, make comments below if you've had this or or what you think about our reviews. Uh, we try and do this so that you don't waste your time with beers that are a waste of time. So uh, if you have suggestions, beers you want us to review, you can email us at thebeerdisciples at gmail.com. And if you're in Eastern Washington, you want to review one with us online, bring a beer. We'll review it with you. Uh, that's what we love to do. So, till next time, I'm going to say cheers.